Hi, I'm Phil from Driftworks. This is my buddy Jay, and this is my bone stock V10 E46M3. So, welcome to another week. Monday. Happy Monday. New challenges uh, for Jay. <laughs> <laughs> this week's project. This week's project on Vitten is, it's one that kind of both of us are dreading a little bit because we don't really know what we're doing. I quite like this bit myself. Yeah, until we start chopping stuff out, but yeah. So, we mentioned it last week. This was never part of the plan. It hides the main part of the collector. Um, and yeah, it needs to go. But this is also a very important part of the structure for the bonnet staying down and in place, alignment of the bonnet, all sorts of stuff like that. So we obviously need to keep these. And yeah, we just spent probably 20, 30 minutes discussing ideas of how we're going to replace the structure of this whilst <laughs> having a complete gap there. So the structure here. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice, easy job. Yeah. Um, <laughs> vague idea so far is <laughs> <laughs> replace this strong thing with a wobbly a bit down yeah here. yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then go oh, i wish i i wish i'd never cut that off <laughs> better see if it's one of these on ebay <laughs> yeah, yeah so yeah this is made out of aluminium we are going to probably look at creating a plate that kind of sits here and works as a guide for the radiator anyway um, you basically want to keep it as as much of the pressure of air going through that radiator So it's a good thing to fill that in anyway, but we're kind of thinking a plate here Which means these uh, lovely brackets that Craig's already made need to go and it's probably going to mount into this zone here And then it's probably going to have an upright here to support this and give a bit of triangulation But we have no metal um, and yeah, it kind of me, it feels like we're going backwards to go forwards again. As usual. And we had the wrong metal to finish the water pipe that I started last oh, week. Yeah, yeah. Well. So yeah, yeah. I've so got to wait for the right metal for that to come tomorrow. Yeah, the idea of it wasn't quite big enough, was it? For, no. So we're already restrict, restricting the uh, water pipes down to dash 16. And this was smaller than that. So I just wanted to make sure that we've got the correct flow. Uh, we've got the breathers to do here, not breathers, these are bleeders, that vents for the radiators, each one has its own, we've got to do the complicated system that ends up going to the top of the thermostat housing but there. But we halted that because we're going to make things that get in the way of it. Yeah, <laughs> this is this is the eternal battle of, of building completely custom cars basically, is you will often spend ages doing something with absolute pride and it's the best you could have ever, ever done it, and then you go, I forgot about the... Yeah. Blah blah blah, and you end up having to redo it. <coughs> ABS. <laughs> uh, yeah, ABS. Um, I think there's nothing to do other than start pulling stuff off and uh, find a piece of metal. I think. Chopping stuff off, yeah. Yes. Find a bit of metal, or and we'll obviously start making this in cardboard to start off with. Uh, but yeah, once again, I'm going to leave you in the capable hands of my buddy Jay. Let's see how we get on. <laughs> There you go, it's nothing. Well, that's roughly the first piece of cardboard cut for the template. We don't have any metal here, so I've had to order some, um, which is one of the reasons why I've cut it around the radiator now. So these brackets will be gone. This will be straight across there. But I don't know if my sheet of metal for this is going to be here tomorrow, so I've left the radiator in because I should have the pipe tomorrow to do the uh, last radiator hose at the bottom there which I didn't have time for last week so I guess I'll get on with cutting the upright pieces here there we go cardboarded sort of but until I get my piece of metal for that uh, I'm gonna have to pause that there uh, we haven't had the delivery yet for the water pipe metal so I'm gonna get on with a heater pipe that we had to move to fit the exhaust in there was a heater pipe that ran from this point here to the heater valve at the back down there so I'm gonna redo that now that's the first few cuts of this water pipe done 
This piece now needs to go in the lathe so I can machine a step at the top to give the hose something to grip to, uh, stop it popping off. And look at that wool thickness. Craig can't be moaning about welding that, can he? That'll weld nicely. <laughs> Famous last words. Now you've prepped it. All right. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Hot. I'll go and lick it. Pick it up on a long bit as usual. Yeah, I don't like my fingerprint. And as if by magic, it's probably about six hours since I last picked up the camera, but I've repeated those processes that I showed you earlier over and over again. And now we have a new coolant pipe. It had to be done in two pieces because you couldn't get it in the car in one, so that meant more time on the lathe turning those down. And I've had to match the size of the pipes at each end. That one for the heater valve, that one for the outlet on the car. So tick that off the list. Onto this bottom radiator outlet. I'm not going to bother filming much of this because it's pretty much the same as I've done for the last two weeks, but up there, up there, I'll see you when there's a hose connected to it. Look at all that room for activities. He's noisy, isn't he? Well, relieved that bit's over. All the main radio hose is now done. We'll put that behind us and get on with the actual job, which was to make this panel here. You know, we're only two days behind. Time to trace these onto this uh, lump of metal. Can't afford to cock this up, we've only got one bit of metal. So is it? That's an hour and a half, it's just taken me to cut that out. <laughs> Never mind, top of lunch. It's starting to take shape. It's time to start using this curve on the bumper now to mark out the actual curve that I need. Um, and then just do it by hand, I think it's taking a bit at a time. Got a little change of plan. Laser Eye Morrison came round and noted that this wasn't in line with this if you stand up here. So put these two plumb bobs on and I think I've got it to equally 20 mil now. I mean, I would say good enough, but <laughs> We've had a weekend. I've now got to remember where I was on Thursday night. Um, I think because we've got to change the top brackets on the radiator, or the top mounts on the radiator, uh, it's time to chop these off, take the bumper off, and then we'll set the angle of this properly before I cut out the two side supports because I don't want to have to keep rejigging the angle on the bottom of them. I'll just get on with that then. After a little bit of jiggling and poking, it's in. That seems to be the angle that it wants to sit at. It should be fairly easy to mount here and here, straight through to the radiator. Uh, I'm going to make some new cardboard end pieces now to match that angle and think about cutting the metal. In the middle of this operation, I thought I'd better check the little thing like shutting the bonnet. And I 
Let's have another redesign. Okay. Hopefully okay. Yeah, clear. Okay, right. Let's chop some metal. That's a rough cut on the bandsaw. I've removed the two bonnet catches because the link cable runs directly behind this panel here and that's going to look ugly apparently. So, they're out of the way. It's simply time to make the metal fit. I feel I'm going to be here for a while. Now I've got them sitting somewhere near. It's just a case of squaring up these surfaces so both of them are identical and it looks as symmetrical as I can get it. So stick them both in the vise and it's just a case of working it with the hand file and making them match as best I can. Time for another test. You're doing it in the warm. Yeah, it's, it's screaming around there today, isn't it? It's horrible. Yeah. Spoiled we are. Yeah, we're getting a bit closer. It's time to simply clean all the paint off this. Um, it'll never be Craig clean, but as long as we get it clean enough to weld, then that's fine by me. He's in a good mood today. Is he? Happy, I don't know. I don't know what he's happy about. He's well, talking about selling his Aston Martin, isn't he? Yeah. Maybe that's making him happy. And he's, and he's skanked another M3, hasn't he? Oh, he's doing right, isn't he? Anyway. I'm sure he'll complain in a minute. He'll certainly be moaning when he gets around here. I've had to come up with a new technique for underneath. Set it on fire? Yeah. Make it glow. Make it melt. Yeah, probably Make, melt a big hole. I have melted it a little bit there, so I know. I'm doing really well. Well, it's a good job we're going to weld right there. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it turns out aluminium turns to cheese. I mean, it is a bit like working with cheese constantly, to be fair. Floppy cheese, like it's not burger my, cheese. It's not my favourite of no, it's not. materials, to be honest. No. I won't go quite as hard on this thing. No. If only we had some paint stripper, maybe that's what we need. Possibly. Although we'd only get no, that on the car. That requires time and we don't have patience for that type of thing. Yeah. <laughs> in the house. Wait for me. <laughs> I, have I don't, I don't have know if we are when... waiting for you to be honest. <laughs> Look at this, the seat set I know, I've got your pedal sorted, I've got your seat sorted. Jay and I are basically going to hold this where it needs to go and we're going to go. So if you want to go tack, tack on this side and tack up against here and then we'll take some more measurements. We might need to twist that a bit there, but I guess I don't know where I'm going to put the camera. Can I tack in there before that's yeah, in there if you or want not? To. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Because if that comes out, I can get in there yeah, much get, easier. Yeah, that's fine. If only we had some clamps and stark in taking them home and then never brought them back. Stark in? Yeah. <gasps> What's Gross. he doing with clamps? Yeah, I don't know, he won't bring them back though. I've asked him twice. Oh, on camera as well. Starky, bring the clamps back. <laughs> It's first I've heard it. about it. Uh, Stucky, holding... bring the clamps back. Yeah. Yeah, they'd be holding toy soldiers, wouldn't they? That's they'd all they'd they'd do. Nothing of any use. <laughs> Making well hawks. Yeah, well, 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 I well, can well, get in there. Well, 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 hang on, we've got to get there. I need to do I something. Ready. I well, it was... <laughs> so am I pushing down? I need that to match the angle of the radiator. That's what I need. So how do you Which know is what that the angle... is because I'm pinching it with my finger. Okay. Which I can't keep holding. So let go of that. You're not putting a through there and hold it. Let go of that. Yeah, I might have. So I've got that. Yeah, you have got that. Yeah, I've got that, so. Ah. How thin is that, that wire to? It's not too thin, that bit. It was riveted. I can't actually see what I'm doing, but. You need some light down there. No, it's tacked. It's, it's got it. Yeah, that's tacked, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so now we need to set this one back up. Unless I want to just grab that and check that yeah. it's still in line. Don't touch ah, it, Jake. It's still in <laughs> Every line. time. Yeah, but I wanted to he check. He does it even when he knows. Oh, check, it's still hot. Check it's still in line. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> you know, right, I'm going to have to put the camera down. I'm going to have to hold this. Uh, one sec. Right, you ain't going to be able to see shit because there's three massive geezers in the way, but you know, at least you get to hear us shout at each other. 
Of course, hence about it. Right, so let me get the. Yeah, it is pretty um, permanent, isn't it? Yeah, taking quite a long time just to simply cut these out. Yeah, okay, right. Okay, yeah. very thin but that looks all right so that's about as much as we can do on the car but hopefully that is now structurally sound enough to not warp when we take this off and weld from the underside pure confidence pure nervousness <laughs> I've got he doesn't care I, I, don't, I don't care <laughs> I just want it back next door that's why in the cold <laughs> It's not cold, it's officially summer now. It's, it's not summer. miserable. It's officially it's summer still winter. Sunday. That's summer time, not summer. <laughs> I've still got two jumpers on. Time to chop. Chopping, chopping. Go for the easy side. You decide what you want. I'll just do the. Yeah. So that one's straight. That one's easy, so I think I'll do that in a second. Is it beautiful? It will be once I mean, Jay files it all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed with how well it's welded or how well you've welded it to be fair because it, it's be honest, tin isn't it? I was, yeah, I mean welding fixed tin like that is not easy but no. that was actually... It must have been the fantastic prep work that you did. I was going to say, it always says it's all in the prep. <laughs> Oh well, back to filing. Let's try and make this look pretty. The beautifying is underway. Just trying to remove all the scars of the Butcher Craig Taylor. It's uh, quite a task. You get the idea. I'm gonna be here for a while. As usual. Oh. I think it's fairly important we get this as close as we can in metal because um, of how structurally sound it is. Um, I'm a bit worried that Phil is going to crack on it. So yeah, I'll just keep filing and sanding and dremeling until it looks sort of like a factory piece. I thought I'd better just check the bonnet catches still fit and with a little bit of fettling, 
they do. So back to shaping. We've just had a quick discussion. We don't need these brackets anymore. We think they're for the factory air ducts to the radiator. Um, and the plan is to have the air to the engine draw from this side and this side uh, up into the air boxes. So these have now got to come off. I've got to make this look not terrible. And then we'll get on with some bodywork in filler and sanding and painting. It's not too bad for a first go. It's going to take quite a bit more prep in to get this perfectly smooth, but there's a few, you know, there's a few imperfections that I've seen, but now we're getting there. Bodywork is not my favourite thing in the world, believe it or not. We're finally getting somewhere. It's been on and off a few times. Uh, I've only got aerosol primer here and the high build is only a 1K and it doesn't really set like the 2K stuff. Um, so yeah hopefully this panel is going to be gas this problem but we'll see next week but I have realized that I haven't drilled the holes to mount the radiator here and the last thing I want to do is be doing that when it's painted so I think it's time to get the front back on and mount the radiator properly as if by magic it is mounted Okay, now it's summer. Well, sort of. I've still got two jumpers on. <laughs> well, I don't know, I've got a bit of sweat on, but we did just uh, unload a 20 foot container of working wheels, which the team are hustling to get out as quickly as possible. Say hi, team. How's your backs? <laughs> but yeah, that's about it, I think, for um, the successful week or yeah. two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. I mean, yeah, it wasn't quite turnaround in a week job, this was it? <laughs> no, as usual. <laughs> A lot it of looks, fiddling. Looks absolutely fantastic though. I am super happy with it. I as hope you can the paint comes imagine. out okay. Yeah, well, you know, if we mess this bit up, we'll just give to Gaz. Collecting yeah. the E30 tomorrow apparently anyway. Are we? No. Right. <laughs> that was the that was the goal. Right, right. I, I asked him. Yeah, it's a Tuesday, that's today. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I asked him how he's getting on, I had an answer, so yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> I'll leave yeah. him to it. I got that impression. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, as usual, there's no real end to the video as such. There's no like, we've done it. And there's certainly not, uh, we've started it. Um, that'll be- not for a while. Five episodes, you reckon? Uh, months, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those of you that are too impatient, I remind you, just come back in a year. <laughs> You'll yeah. get to hear it then, maybe. But yeah, uh, we're gonna crack on as much as we can uh, in amongst our normal workload. Um, and yeah, next time you see this, obviously that'll be mounted, headlights in look a bit more like a real car again. But, Hopefully uh, we'll be sending runs out. Yeah, <laughs> well, we'll just, I'll probably squint or put me worse glasses on because um, we need to ignore that for a bit and crack on with more important stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for all the um, people that shop at driftworks.com and help fund the stupidity. And we'll catch you next time.